Yeah, Hello guys, nice. and welcome to episode 20 of my Total War Warhammer 3 campaign, playing as Kostaltin, leading the Great Orthodoxy to save Urson. Previously, we did a big blow to the Yoga Kingdom. Uh, Yosef here really came into his own. He's ranked up a ton. And before we finish off Fargan, we're going to rank him up. So let's start by doing that. We'll grab the Deadly Blade. That's fine. And my Patriarch can get the replenished troops upgraded. That's good. And Alexandra finally needs some decent magic. So here we have Ice Magic. We'll do Death Frost. Yeah, we're going to do Death Frost first. Gives us another direct damage spell. And we'll jump on in to this battle. It undermines my okay. I'm going to fight it out. Don't want to lose my men to the Order Resolve. The main thing will just be having my Corsars in the front. I think the Saber Tusk packs will just charge straight into us. Gonna be a pretty simple battle, honestly. All the big ones are out of the way. Yeah, so we just spread out these boys and honestly just have these behind. Totally fine. like instant rampage I might send him over there to go deal with that we're really low on winds if we can't do that Oh, <laughs> I zoomed in at the, the wrong time there, or maybe the right time, because that was pretty cool, but <laughs> yeah. It looks like these Slaughter Masters, they can get some magic down. That guy certainly running pretty crazy. Ursons claws going. Get that base damage up. Do loads of damage. Job done. Simple as that. Yeah, that's good. That wipes out that army. And uh, then we're going to stay in our territory. We'll replenish, recruit. A new unit for the army, and then we'll move on to the the town of Saal. The ogres have been a real thorn in my side. I can't wait to just kill them off. It'd be so, so nice. And we didn't even do anything to really... I don't, know, I don't remember de declaring war on them. I, I think they just declared war on me randomly. I don't think scales is alright. Let's grab a bit more replenishment, I guess. Until you die. And we'll just move over here, and we'll recruit. I reject any who so, I might just get rid of this unit. And then we'll just get a fresh ones. Surely needs us. 
Because we recruited rank two. That was only rank three, so. Totally fine. Power is my right. And we can damage this building the next turn glory, before we, we attack. Patreon but I'll probably forget. <laughs> oh, do wound upgrade. That's fine. Oh, did you look at that? Costalton's leveled up. And I didn't give him his spell or his ability. So stand your ground. There we go. Grab that. Extra melee defense. That's really, going to be really nice, actually. Um, Let's just get rid of this boy. Very good. And I don't think there's much I can do here. I mean, they're both going to attack next turn, I think, at the same time. I think we're going to lose our capital again. Good old Karl Alexandrov. <laughs> you wouldn't want to live there. It's like your your, your leader is, is completely against chaos, yet lets his capital get destroyed by chaos multiple times over. <laughs> it's really silly. Uh, what's going on in Laurelon? Surely they like me. We do have an aggression pact. The woods of Athaloran welcome you. Uh, they don't want a defense for alliance. Uh, we can probably trade the with Reichland. Be at peace. For that eh, is not yet. <laughs> uh, anything else we can do? Uh, there was the northern provinces, I but our ancient empire has not survived until that's... now without friends. Yeah, it might be a good idea actually. So, one hundred and eleven a turn. The main thing here is just becoming friends with them. That's what matters. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it at the moment. Doesn't really matter if we're not friends with them. That's the that's the other thing. I think it would be nice to be friends with them, but it doesn't really matter if we're not. A dozen's gonna build there. That's fine. And then we have outpost available. That's pointless. And imminent rebellion. Same as always. Could grab the taverns here to help help out with this. Alright. Let's end the turn. So, they are sieging Castle Alexandrinov. Okay. We'll check out Disciples of the Moor. The greater good must be served. Oh, they're offering me 3,000 now. Sure, why not? Oh, that changed. <laughs> I'm not sure if now is really the right time to confederate. I think that's what happened with the achievement popping up there is I think we've got to the 600 supporters so we can confederate. But um, yeah, we'll see. If I can choose when I can confederate, I might wait until their armies are more consolidated because at the moment they're still standing right next to enemies that will batter them. Sylvania's got to go at some point. It's interesting that they are in this campaign actually. Oh, have we already confederated? Yeah, we have. Ah, uh, we're just going to have to take these losses, aren't we? This guy leveled up at all. He's got 50 melee attack, 44 melee defense, 430. Pretty sure that guy's just straight up better. But this guy's got more armor. 
I'm gonna miss the mammoth. Uh, I don't know if it's worth playing this out. Like, it might be better to play it out if we could, like, kill the mammoth or something. We had magic here. We could probably easily win this, but neither of these can cast. Like, if this was the lord and then maybe a mage probably win. It really depends how Gaspar does against the other guy. Wow, that is a map. <laughs> We're on the side of a mountain. Look at that. That's crazy. This is incredible. Oh, look at the sky. Holy moly. This is a, a, an awesome map. Wow. Very cool. It reminds me of the really, really steep maps that you used to get in, like, the original Medieval. It was really silly. You, you used to get those maps where it was, like, on the mountain. And then... Yeah. <laughs> you guys probably know what I mean if you've played Total War. <laughs> so the only ability we have is the charge bonus. Just kind of shit. Hmm. Might work. Total destruction. Rest by the orthodoxy. All right, now we just speed it up. Maybe I can kill the mammoth. No, we're taking too much damage. These guys aren't tanky at all. Yeah, no chance. That's fine. I, I just basically let us lose there. I just wanted to see if these guys could like stand up to them. I think the mammoth is the problem there because it's pushing us around. If we can keep them standing together and then you know hit one target, then it's not too bad. But being pushed around stops these guys attacking, they just take free damage, and then it's like... Yeah, never mind. Should have just thought to resolve that, really. Especially considering how long it takes sometimes to load back into the campaign, which is... Probably one of the most annoying things about Warhammer 3. Yeah, goodbye to that army. Nothing I can do about that. It's just, just where we've instantly confederated. We'll probably get attacked here as well. Although Shotraken was already occupied by them, so maybe there's a garrison there. Hmm. Basically, all of Norsk is coming for us at the moment. It's a bit awkward. Alright, we'll just speed it up. Lovely. Another rebellion at Nordland. Grayling's coming for us as well. And settlement besiege, Castle Alexandrinov. Angry Orthodoxy rules supreme. There we go. The spiritual conflict is over and the devotion of Kislev's folk is unquestionable. The Great Orthodoxy rules supreme. The Ice Court and Tsarina shall become a mere puppet sovereign. And for the real power now rests with the patriarchs. So we've got all these new provinces, we've got the confederation, and they enter the dark realm, and Gaspar's dead. Alright, demonic frenzy, bloody harvest is dead. Okay, so where are we at with this? So currently the northern provinces and the seducers of Slaanesh are in the Slaanesh realm, but other than that, 
That's it. I don't know if they can still complete it now that the portals are finished, but it's whatever. Let's just go through our armies and we'll figure out the issues with our income in a moment. Right, Costalton is going to go across the water, but I'm a little bit concerned about this. They actually do have some Chaos Warriors. I think this army beats that. Quite handily. Do not engage. So that's Patriot fine by me. They do have a second army I though. Am Main thing I'm looking at right now is if I come across like all. this, just go straight across. Will I get like double teamed or even triple teamed? Like, it's like a maybe, right? I'm gonna swing over. Let's just have a look. What's the range on that? It's pretty far. Not a slave. I'm gonna go to like here. Swed, or swed. And that way we can get on land again and sort that out. Alright, meanwhile, Yosef can wipe out Norden. Face my I hope I can just order resolve this. Okay, good. The motherland never falters. So we occupy that. My lands expand further. Gonzal is destroyed. So that's good. One faction of Norska dead. Never He's leveled up, so we'll get foe seeker. A symbol of my unparalleled authority. We can do icon of strength and. Guess we'll do frozen blades. These boys can move over here because we want to get rid of these agents. All right. Uh, actually, yeah, I forgot. I did actually forget, didn't I? <laughs> to <laughs> damage the walls there. I should have done that because that would have made the auto resolve even better. Yeah, the plan now with Yosef is to come over here, take out the rebellion. We'll take out the Salzman camp. We'll take out this army, and then carry on probably over to the wasteland where we'll take Marienburg and all these settlements. So that will give us a nice sort of location at the back of the map down here that's relatively safe. Although I say that Norskans might come down, but check out this army train right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, alright, where's Sarina? There's Sarina Catherine. She's hanging out. Why is she all the way over there? Holy moly. I might just disband this army. Um, Is this Skaven? I don't know what she's doing over there. Um, I'm thinking we go back into this land. Maybe we can colonize this and then use it to recruit and then attack Frozen Landing to wipe out Bessoning so we don't have to deal with them. Oh, yeah. Here at Shot Tracking, I think we can probably attack that. They are one. Yeah, I don't know. I think we just bring Sarina back this way. Yep. We'll take uh, attrition, though. The reason I don't want to get rid of this army is because the unit rank's quite high, and it al we also have some ice guards in there. I don't care about the wing lancers so much. By blood. Right, this guy. I think we're going to end up giving his army to Sarina and we'll get rid of this army because then we don't have to deal with supply lines so much. Right, this is annoying because our garrison's just out of range again. So we're actually going to retreat. And... We'll get rid of that building. We're going to start building some walls there. Oh yeah, that's one thing I'm going to have to do, isn't it? We're going to have to go through and build walls everywhere. Of course we are. Alright, we're going to demolish these because we don't need them. 
can demolish that as well now. Demolish that. Any of the high level ones we'll keep. Uh, in this case, though, these are all level 3. We don't actually need the Ghost Border anymore, so we get rid of that. Get rid of the Animal Den. I'm happy to keep the Cassian and the Oblast Stygian. Royal Barracks. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right, help it. I oh, was the the cord is going up there now. That's totally fine. I could increase the walls, but it's not really that important at the moment. Like, it might be important if this army comes around, though. The garrison's still decent, however. Especially with the extra ice guard in there. That's nice. Hmm. Alright, Eastern of Blast. We're going to want to put the walls in at Fort Chukova. I already own that, though. I'm going to get rid of that building. I'm going to get rid of this building. And... We'll get rid of that building. All of those are going to be walls. What about Kislev itself? How's that looking? We have the Grand Citadel, level 2. What does the max one do? Extra control faction wide? It's not that good, to be honest. I thought that'd be better. <laughs> We've got the Dwarven District. We've got the Orthodoxy Cathedral at max. And we've got the Royal Chapt House. The guild districts. That's minus construction costs faction wide, actually. That's kind of nice. Is there anything I'd rather have, though? There's quite a lot of unique buildings here. That's minus upkeep for Ice Guard and all armies. Number of verses, minus upkeep for elemental bears and war bear riders. We'll definitely want that. An Imperial Embassy gives extra allegiance points for alliances with Empire and extra diplomatic relations with Empire. I think we'll get rid of one of these buildings. Get rid of this one. To build the Temple of Ersen. Also provides the garrison with an elemental bear, so that's pretty cool. I also can get rid of this building, the Royal Barracks, if I build the Bokka Palace. So I think I'll do that as well. So Royal Barracks. Get rid of that. We won't need the ice training fields. We will need the animal den and so on. And I do need to put Probably the walls in here, actually. The watch patrol. I don't know if this is that important. Like an extra patriarch. I feel like I can get rid of the orthodoxy cathedral. <laughs> imagine you walk... <laughs> actually, no. We'll get rid of this first. The <laughs> imagine walking into <laughs> a city and being like, Yo, dude. You've got to destroy your cathedral. <laughs> it's nuts. But can I have another one? I can assign two more. Alright. This guy gives Essa control and corruption reduction. 
I guess we'll do one up at Dukil's Forest and one in Nordland. I think we need definitely need to put one in Nordland. We'll do one there. Although I managed to get the next one actually, it would be pretty good with income. Where's the best place for income? Uh, the River Linsk, so Erengrad. Do we have one in Erengrad? We do. Um, so after that, I think it's Northern Oblast or Eastern Oblast. Yeah, we'll put him there. That will make us an extra 10%. It's not too bad. Alright, that boy be chilling. Uh, this one. Not we'll just try and get rid of this corn, one. dude. Kill them. It's fine. I don't really need to focus too much on these agent actions anymore. Because we've already got the confederation, so... That's fine. Get rid of this one. End the non-believers. Had a low chance. What am I doing with her? Gosh, I guess she just heads up north. Maybe she can jump in with Sarina. Have a look at her, her abilities. The quiet warrior. Control growth. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, maybe what we do then is we just have her Time move to up march. and stand in that province to sort out the growth so that we can get level 3 settlements. What about this one? Campaigner, artillerist. Ownership is theft and. Providential. Eh. It's all a bit crap, really, isn't it? We'll do this. And I'm going to pop her in this army. I'll obtain exquisite trophies. Cool. Patriarch of Kislev. I'm just building upgrades. We'll get rid of that one. And we have a commandment available. And the only logical thing is income. And income. And income, I think. And then more income. <laughs> In this case, it might be worth getting the power of the church for a little while. To reduce that corruption. Although the corruption's almost completely gone. So the other thing would be control, but I think that's sorted now. So we'll go for money there as well. Alright, income's going to actually go up quite a bit. Like currently we're negative, but it doesn't matter too much because we have a lot of cash. Which we are going to spend next turn. Definitely going to spend all of that on walls. But I think that's as much as we can really do, so... We'll move on to the next turn. Legion of Chaos didn't really do too much. They actually stopped the siege at Castle Alexandrov. Oh, the Disciples of Mora are going to be a pain in the ass. Just go take that settlement back that I just took. <laughs> I mean, that's just annoying. Alright, what, what's Magothkin doing? Are they actually doing anything? Maybe I should have recruited a few men in the army. I didn't really want to because I'm kind of just waiting for Sarina to come across and we'll merge the armies and disband it and then it won't cost that much. Oh, they'd like a non-aggression pact. we do this and ask for some money, yeah, that'd be better. Cool. 
actually forgot to check my diplomacy. It's interesting in Warhammer 3 because diplomacy seems to change around quite a bit. In terms of like what you can do with it between turns. The relations are always going up and down. Okay, and the weird sound bug. The music just randomly stops there anytime an agent action happens. So what I might end up doing is just leave Jotraken and just move the army to help Sarina take out Bersenling and then we can just come back and take Jotraken afterwards. Oh, are they fighting each other? <laughs> Wait, was that Grayling attacking Scaling? I think it was. Alright, the juices of Slanesh managed to get the uh, Slanesh soul. So we're actually the only faction with two souls. Which means that we are almost guaranteed to win as long as I go in every time. So that's good. Alright. Assuming that I don't lose to all of these armies everywhere. Leave me I don't know what they're doing. Like Manipulation. It's really strange. They they just I lost a bunch of dudes because they so. disbanded them. Heed me. The thing for me to do here is just take out Kargan. Because <gasps> I don't have to care about those two armies for now. The only thing that they could do that would be annoying is attack Dazen. Which they might do, I guess. So, in these extra slots, I think we just go for farmsteads. We don't care about corruption. The hallowed wood's pointless. The roadhouse is pointless because we don't need to get extra growth. Uh, so, I think the farmstead's the main one. Oh, we could also get the night patrol houses, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Because we can stop the rifts appearing. Although I don't know if I want to do that in Troll Country. It might actually be worth letting them spawn in Troll Country and we use that as our place to jump in because I'm going to be at war with Norska for a long time. So we'll generally be on this side of the map with Kostalton. So having them pop up here is not too bad, but we could stop them spawning everywhere else over here. And in here. So I think we'll just make that into... Uh, probably... The farmstead. Right, anyway, let's grab Kostalton. We'll level up his Patriarch. And... We'll go for Wild-Eyed. That's fine. So with these now, uh, the Salyak is not as good because this this is Casualty Replenishment Rate, which I guess is fine, and Growth actually is not too bad. Uh, the better one would probably be... Uh, income from Trade would actually be pretty high now, but the Wrath of the Bear and Melee Attack for all armies. Ooh, this could be pretty good. Causes attrition to enemy armies within your territory. Bitterness of winter. Ah. Oh, that could be really nice. Right now. We're gonna do that. Right. Let's go and attack this guy. We'll get the treasure as well while we're here. Mm, not gonna auto resolve that. Mainly because if we auto resolved it, I would take damage, probably more damage, and then I'm on the water, so I don't get replenishment. So we want to kind of try and not take as much damage and then deal with the other armies that are hanging about.
Okay, we're gonna chill. We're gonna let them come to us. So what I'm gonna do this time is something that I should have done before. Is we basically have our men on the hill at the back. And these guys don't get like the uphill defensive bonus, but my archers can fire over the top of them, so it's actually better. These guys can chill on the flank for us. Alright, let's go. I might actually spread out the line a bit more, because their line's a bit wide. You're gonna dive onto my ice bear? He is. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's kill him. March for Kislev! He's already gone. Dokey. So far, so good. <laughs> down that bitterness of winter. Slow him down. We're doing alright against the Flesh Hounds here, but the Chaos Warriors of Halberds are not ideal. Oh, that's victory. Never mind. I think he already retreated, didn't he? So we'll just end the battle. He'll be dead. No problemo. That was a shameful display. <laughs> <laughs> it just hit our line and then all ran away. Like, for corn warriors. <laughs> They're terrible. I thought those Chaos Warriors would be a bit more scary than that, but they have no leadership at all. It doesn't even look like we hit army losses. I feel like they just started running away. Maybe killing Kagan Malgoth that early on just did enough damage to the balance of power. That was crazy. That was so fast. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we will replenish from that. It's just zero percent, but it's just gonna pretty much full heal us. So I'm happy with that. I am Kostantin. So we have this skirmisher traditions. I also want to get the elemental bear. First of the bear cult. So we'll do Ursin's favored. Extra melee defense and armor for the bear. The armor is the most important end. part. Reduces that missile damage Resale. that it takes. So the remains of a large sea beast are spotted away, floating in some back, nearby backwaters. The unidentified creature has been inexplicably ripped to pieces by an explosive force, his belly torn open and exposed. This mysterious find could prove bountiful, but who for who 
for who knows what devoured treasures might be might reside within its guts. An unidentified ship has also been spotted nearby. Rival scavengers, whoever they are, who are not one to share salvage with anyone. Alright, it is an army of the Dark Elves. Okay. I'm going to order resolve it. We'll do this, because we're not going to get replenishment this turn anyway. Supreme Patriarch. And we got 8,000. Nice. Okay. Only I, I would go for this, but we're going to head back. I don't think they're going to come towards me. I mean, if they do come towards me, then we can go for them. But for otherwise, I'm going to sail towards Castle Alexandrinov. I am truth. Okay. So that's extra construction costs for hallowed wood buildings. 300%. Is that just these buildings? I assume. Then orthodoxy buildings are these ones. I think have they changed that? I feel like they changed that. It used to be like, I don't know, an income from all buildings faction wide seems pretty good, right? I don't know if that hallowed wood building is worth keeping. That'd be 300%, so that'd be like 4,000. A cash share of planetary ambush success chance for local regions, devotion. Yeah. I mean, incomes from farm in the local region, I guess, is like something that might be nice, but I'm not worried about that. I think the income from all buildings faction-wide is actually better. So I might pick the orthodoxy in action up. A gift from the bear. Okay. And this guy will go for conviction now. And then Ivana and Max out Biting Wind. And that's it. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. Gonna leave it there. In the next episode, we'll try and save good old Serena. And maybe we can try and take out this boy, Dungrat. I will have to probably global recruit, maybe, to get some troops and sort that out. I mean, these troops that I recruit here I can always just join Serena, so it's fine. Like, she's got 10, including herself, and oh, then yeah. he's got, well, 11, but I'm probably going to disband some of these units, like the uh, wing lances and stuff. So, yeah, I think we can probably just recruit a bunch of extra dudes in there. But yeah, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yeah,